Uh, next, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Seven and six last year, five and three in the conference. I don't think any of that necessarily matters. Nope. Returning starters, they got four on offense, three on defense. Nationally, they returned the number 122 most experienced, which is not good. They are dead last in the conference. Jeff Collins, 15 and 10 in two years at Temple, but remember he was at Mississippi State, Florida before that. Uh, he is known for his defenses. It, he has a legit year zero. Like That's there right. are no expectations this year. They're having to restructure from the triple option that Paul Johnson built, which is, it's almost impossible to discuss what the offense is going to be like in year one. That's right. Uh, the offensive line has to change blocking schemes. Running backs are moving to wide receiver. The quarterbacks are actually going to throw the ball now. Uh, I mean, their quarterback last year threw the ball 15 times. Like, what are we talking about? That happens you know? in a quarter now. Yeah. Uh, Collins' defense is known for third down mayhem. They're still going to be able to do that. But they've only got three starters back, and the front seven has very little actual in-game experience, which could be a good thing. Like, he can build them from, from what he wants to be. Now, he's from the Atlanta area. They're going to need to like, build depth, though. That's the biggest thing with this defense. The way he does such an attacking defense, you're going to have to have depth because I think you're going to be on the field a lot. Yes, yes. Uh, but I also think that they're going to rotate a lot. Like, they're, he's going to get a lot of guys a lot of experience. Which is he's not going to be... To. It's not going to be good for the record this That's year. That's right. But it will be good for the, the when long When those haul. guys become juniors and seniors, it, yeah. it could bode very well. And on, on top of that, like, the schedule is pretty ridiculous yep. for a team that is changing philosophy. It's pretty ridiculous for any team, really. But a team that's trying to change philosophies right now, like, that is... This one is way far out there. The over under is four. The over is plus one forty. The under is one sixty or minus one sixty. Uh, I've got them dead on that, and I I wonder, like maybe I'm putting a little bit too much stock into Jeff Collins and what he's the the excitement that he's building around the program, because I've got them beating UCF, the Citadel, North Carolina, and Pitt. Now all home games, but. I, you've kind of leaned on that a lot. I mean, you've had this conversation sometimes on camera, a little bit more off camera. Where the, the home, home field advantage home maybe field is, ma is, is, yeah. is I mean, it matters, but across college football, home teams are going to lose a lot. Like, it's just not we're at yeah. home, we're going to chalk up wins. I got them 2-10. And and I, I got them 2-10 and 10 because I think this is going to be year zero. Yeah. I think this is going to be an overhaul. Trent... The fact that he's a defensive guy, I think, could get him to three and nine because if they've got enough guys on the field and they can continue to run the ball, because you're right, being a triple option team means they should still have athletic offensive linemen. But yeah. the problem is, is those guys are usually such good athletes, but not big, strong, moving right. people offensive linemen. You're doing a lot more cutting, pulling, and things of that nature. I, I, will they be able to overpower? Even some of these other front sevens from schools like Pitt or Wake Forest. I'm not. I'm not talking about can they move Clemson. We know no, the answer to that is no. It's can they Pitt, move Pitt? Can they move North Carolina? Can they move North Carolina? Know. Can they move these these other schools? I think that's going to be hard. Yeah, I think it's going to be really hard. I think non-conference going to Temple is going to be tough. Yeah, because because Temple's going to come at him for leaving. Oh yeah, I, and, I've got him losing the game at Temple and and, and South Florida. I I like strong a lot more than you like strong. I yeah. think that's going to be a hard game. I don't know that South Florida is just going to mosey on in and take an L. No, no, no. I, and, I agree. And so it just there's not a lot of places where you can say I think they're going to win this. Four, game. four and eight might be a little generous, and two and ten might me. be rough. I mean, we. I mean, you know. we'll we'll see, right? That's the, right. This is the complete like it, I would not touch this. Uh, this oh, I don't know. Season win total. For anything, because it, four, like you could, you could see them getting to four, but they're not going to go over that. And the under, uh, I mean, doesn't pay out well. So I mean, minus one sixty, like it's <laughs> my every almost every division that we've done so far. There's been at least one team on there where no matter how much I read about, it doesn't matter. Like I yeah. don't know, I don't know anything about them or what they're actually going to look like. I know the coaches, I know like the kind of schemes that they, but I don't. I don't know what they're going to be like when they actually get on the field. Yeah. This yeah. is that team. I got no clue. 
No, I'm, I'm with you. All right, let's move on.